So this question says, uh, in the XY plane, it starts off by saying that there's an XY plane, but we're not provided with an XY plane. So I'm going to say that this is a plug in picture question. I want to draw my actual XY plane. I want to make sure that the units um, that I draw in to the X axis and Y axis are as evenly spaced as I can make them without, you know, obsessing over it. So it says the parabola. So we should know what a parabola shape is. It's like a U shape like this. The parabola with the equation y equals x minus 11 squared. Okay, well, hey, let's graph that. Again, they're talking about this parabola. They gave us an equation. I want to know what that looks like. So this parabola, um, hopefully you recall that the minus sign in here, the whole idea of insiders lie, if that sounds familiar, insiders lie. Right, so the parabola equation or the parabola structure is typically from the origin and up like this. But that minus 11 inside parentheses actually shifts this shape over 11 units to the right. So I'm going to say I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it means my parabola, and let's just erase this old one here. My new parabola, the actual parabola, should look something like this up from 11 on the x-axis. Okay, so there's my, my graph. It's not perfect, but it probably will do the job. And then we have it intersects the line with equation y equals 25. Well, the line y equals 25, that'll be here on the y-axis. I'm just going to count up 25 units. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, it's just going to extend my line up a little bit. So there's 25. So here's the line y equals 25. It's here. And then obviously my parabola is going to go up this way and continue up that way. I really don't know exactly how wide this parabola is. Um, I'm, I could figure it out, but let's see if this picture is enough. So I have the y equals x minus 11 squared graphed. I have the y equals 25. It says that it intersects at two points. Yep, I see those two points. One is there and one is there. And then they're saying that those points are called A and B. So I'm going to label my graph with A and B. What is the length of AB? Okay, so let's see. What is the length of AB? So what do I know? So first of all, I can't just look at my graph and tell that for sure. I mean, I kind of, I mean, I could, but I know that, you know, the width of this parabola, I completely made up. There's no rhyme or reason behind it. So I'm not going to trust that, uh, you know, that the whatever unit this is on the x-axis represents something that's actually accurate. What I do know about point A is that the y value is 25, right? And I do what I do know about point B is that the y value is 25. Now, why is that important? That's important because I know that when they intersect, that means that point A is also a part of point A and B, the ordered pairs for point A and B should be something that I can find from the parabola equation, which means if I know that Y is 25, I can replace Y with 25 and rewrite my parabola equation and solve for X from there. So to solve this, I would square root both sides. The square root on the right makes the squared cross out. So I just have x minus 11. And then square rooting 25 this is where a lot of students make mistakes. Anytime you square root in order to solve an equation, do not forget to put the plus or minus. So plus or minus 5 is the answer there. So then I add 11 to both sides here. I just go up here for more space. So I end up with, uh, I could have a positive 5 plus 11, or, or I should say and in this case, and I have a negative 5 plus 11. These are my x values, right? x equals positive 5 plus 11, and x equals negative 5 plus 11. Again, that's just from doing the simple algebra here. Plus or minus 5 plus 11 equals x, right? I just broke that down into two parts. So 5 plus 11 is 16, so x equals 16. So that would be obviously over here, so that's point B. So this is 16. 
And then negative 5 plus 11 is positive 6, so that must obviously be here. It looks like, you know, by chance, I probably would have got very close to this answer just by using my graph. But point A must be 6, 25. So then the distance between 6 and 16 is 10. Therefore, the answer is choice A.